As summer is coming to a close, many homeowners will be prepping their lake homes for the off season. And joining us today is Zach Krieger, a system design specialist with Ayers Basement, with some tips on how to do this the right way. Zach, what are some of the preparations that people should be making to make sure their lake home will be safe and secure during the off season? Yeah, I think when people are getting ready to leave and kind of close up for the year, one of the things that we want them to think about is, you know, winter, and that's going to be looming right around the corner. Um, as much as we all hate to see summer and kind of fall come into the picture, winter's right around the corner. And so one of the biggest things that happens in a crawl space is that outside air is infiltrating the crawl space. And it's something that we talk about all the time called the stack effect. And so 50% of the air that's coming into uh, your crawl space is actually working itself up into the living space. But the reason that's happening is because your home is acting like a giant vacuum. So uh, one of the techniques that we use is making sure that we're sealing out that outside air and dehumidifying. So if you think about the way that uh, the temperatures get down in the wintertime, especially in Michigan, we can have some sub-zero temperatures. Um, you know, you may have your mechanicals down there. You might have plumbing uh, that's down there. And I'm sure nobody wants to come home uh, back to the cottage next year and open up the crawl space to find a, 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 a burst pipe or, um, you know, ice and, and frost all over everything. So one of the things that we, we like to think about in terms of a, encapsulation uh, is going to be sealing off that outside air and making sure that we're isolating the earth with a crawl space encapsulation system. So uh, one of the things we hear all the time when customers call in is, hey, you know, I want to make sure that my pipes don't burst. And that's something that uh, that we can help with with adding insulation and talking about a crawl space encapsulation system. And Zach, homeowners may have been avoiding a big issue with their house in the summer, like maybe a moldy crawl space or a sinking foundation. What can air service on lake homes while it's in the fall and winter? Well, I think the first thing is just making sure that we can get some eyes on it. I think a lot of people nowadays are relying on uh, Google or the Internet to tell them what the best thing is to do and really we want to give you a professional opinion by getting into the crawl space putting on a tyvek suit and actually crawling in and taking a look at what you've got going on um, from sagging floors you know sloping and bouncy floors to uh, you might be seeing some cracks in the foundation especially on a, a lake home one of the things we deal with a lot are structural integrity issues because they're are not competent soils. Uh, typically the soil is very, very mucky, very wet uh, when they built those originally. Um, and so if you're having sticking doors or windows, um, if you notice that there's that musty odor going on, even in the fall season, we just wanna come out and take a look so we can give you the best recommendation to to really protect that uh, you know, for the next generation. All right, Zach, thanks for the information today. So where can people find out more? Yeah, if you wanna uh, give us a call, we'd love to, to help you out. You can give us a shout at 866. 379-1669 or you can hop on uh, the internet and visit goairs.com. All right. Well, thanks again for the tips today, Zach. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Absolutely. And stick around. We've got more Studio 10 after the break.